This time I'm multiplying by 100. So instead of moving one place to the left, I'm making my number 100 times bigger. So each digit is going to move two places to the left. So in 34, I've got three tens, and that's going to jump to my hundreds column and then to my thousands. So it's going to become 3,000. I've got four ones in 34, so that's going to jump two places into my hundreds column. Then I need to remember to make sure that I put in the zeros to hold my places of my tens and my ones. Lastly, let's have a look at multiplying by 1,000. So I've got 47 times by 1,000. I know I've got four tens and seven ones. Just make all of these a little bit bigger so that we can see them. Now, when I was multiplying by 10, 10 had one zero, so I knew that each digit needed to move one place. When I was multiplying by 100, 100 has two zeros, so I know that each digit needs to move two places. Now I'm multiplying by 1,000, I've got three zeros, so I need to make sure that each digit is moving three places to the left. So I'm going to take my four tens first, and I'm going to jump it three places to the left into the hundreds, into the thousands, and then into the tens of thousands. I'm going to take my seven ones next, and I'm going to jump it three places to the left, into the tens, into the hundreds, into the thousands. To make sure that each of these places have a digit in them, I need to put the placeholder of zero, so that my thousands and my tens of thousands digits can hold their places. So now my answer is 47,000. Have a go now at task and looking at times in by 10, 100, 